You take now. <laughs> Charlie, I think you've earned a rest. Now we can settle down to a comfortable visit. <laughs> so sorry, but uh, must return to happy family in Honolulu. You've done a great job, Charlie. <laughs> I wish I could make you a present of the city hall. <laughs> if uh, family continue to increase, it may consider a generous offer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> In just under ten minutes, Peter Powell switches on the Oxford Roadshow Christmas lights. Before that, a cartoon on two.
Music with a lighter touch this Christmas on BBC Two. When I was John Denver, his guitar and his music. We used to go out to Grandma's house as a month and so. Glenn Campbell in Dublin. I cannot see you walking on the back roads by the rivers flowing and along my mind. Marty Kay. Christmas Eve, Elton John returns to the Hammersmith Odeon for another spectacular live concert. Christmas on BBC Two. On BBC One, in just under ten minutes, Yul Brynner and Trevor Howard star in the adventure feature film The Long Duel, set in the northwest frontier of India in the days of the British Raj. Here on two now, the Oxford Roadshow. It's very nearly seven o'clock, it's BBC Two, and it's live, and you're welcome to our early Christmas party. Here's the band you'll all know, it's Dex's.
Kevin Rowland, I believe the rock of the land. Up through the two get angry, I'm a little out of hand. You see, sir, you don't know what's wrong for me. Stuff. That's Texas, and there's more from there later on in the programme. You know this face, it's Junior. Junior, welcome to our Christmas show. Hello, Pete. How are you doing? Thank you for making the trip up from London, yeah? That's the right for you. Great year for you, 82. Uh, Mama used to say, massive hit around the clubs and things. Uh, were you surprised? Very. I mean, like, it was a song that I didn't think would happen, and when it did, it surprised me, especially as it happened in America before happening here, you know? What's the plans for the new year, then? Well, we've just been recording some new songs for the next album. And uh, that should be out around about the middle of January to the end. And the album should be out around about March. All right, wish you luck in 83. Okay, Hope it goes well. Thanks for coming up. Got a little task for you to do. Yes. We're going to run a little Christmas uh, quiz competition. Um, if you get it wrong, you go in our vat of BBC foam. If you get it right, you still go in, because no winners on this show. Uh, <laughs> so, Junior, would you, uh, let me just ask, who's our first poor sucker? It's you, isn't it? Yeah, Zoe. Okay, Zoe, you move well close to the front. <laughs> I'm afraid so. You, are you, oh, gonna, oh, getting well prepared for it. All right. Right, Zoe, Junior is now going to ask you a question. You have to get it right, because if you get it right, there's a prize in there, you see. So you can go, right. Okay, Junior, ask. Right. Which was the first single to sell over two million copies in the UK? I don't know. Oh, what a shame! It was one of Kintyre! Oh. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> excuse, excuse me. Folks, it is live, we apologise. Um, <laughs> I thought... Right, let's get back to some kind of normality. 
Uh, it's the habit of television shows like this one to produce film reports on yacht schemes uh, with more than a hint of the horror story. Uh, so it's good to be able to report on a bunch of people from the land of Yasser Hughes who glanced in the window of a local job centre, filled in the forms and ended up as the Liverpool Kids from Fame. We start off by shaking our hands first. No, this isn't New York and my name isn't Leroy. It's a yacht scheme in Liverpool called the Rathbone Theatre Workshop. There are 35 of us on the scheme and I found out about it one day by accident when I had gone down to the shops, only to find it was early closing. So I went into the job centre thinking, oh here we go again. But instead, I found a card which said Drama, Dance and Film. When I got on the course, I found that I was most interested in acting and making costumes. We are helped in this by the Rathbone staff. Well, the majority of them are referred to us by the careers or the job centres, but quite often it's word of mouth from the local youth theatre, the Everman Youth Theatre. They hear about it from the friends who've been on for a few months and really enjoyed the work, and then they come by them. We also go to the special centres of the job centre um, for the specially, well, for the mentally handicapped people, and because we have to take on a percentage of people from special schools with special needs. Mm. Um, but I would say the majority is from the um, job centres. Mm. Considering that we took on a, a cross-section of young people from all over Liverpool and Merseyside, um, people who've been on other yacht schemes and they wanted to try something that was going to be different, um, it's going to give them a chance to express themselves. 